With under two weeks remaining until Israel's parliament disperses unless a new government is formed, Knesset Speaker Yuli Edelstein is making a last-ditch effort to bring the two largest factions together to form a national unity government. However, one of those two factions, Blue and White, is seen as divided over how to proceed. Its leader, Benny Gantz, wishes to close the deal, but he is blocked by his number two, Yair Lapid, according to reports. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo said it was very clear to the Trump administration that Jewish settlements in Judea and Samaria were not illegal according to international law. He expanded on his November 18th statements in an exclusive interview with Israel Hayom on Wednesday, in which he said that settlements per se were not illegal. He expressed his view to the paper that the decision would help reach a resolution between Israelis and Palestinians. Construction on 176 housing units in the Jewish enclave of Nof Tzion in eastern Jerusalem has begun, reports Haaretz. The 96 residents that live in Nof Tzion are surrounded by hundreds of Palestinians in the surrounding neighborhood of Jabal Mukaber. With the expansion, Nof Tzion is expected to surpass Ma'alei Zaytim as the largest Jewish community nestled in a Palestinian neighborhood. In an op-ed Wednesday for the Gatestone Institute, famed U.S. attorney Alan Dershowitz says there are striking similarities between the investigations being conducted against President Donald Trump and Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. The most striking similarity is that both are being investigated for actions that their legislatures have not explicitly made criminal, he wrote. <laughs> 